Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue. Here's the Streets of Arkham expansion for Mansions of Madness. It's going to be a big box expansion. Although, surprisingly, it's not going to have very much in it. So you're going to get a little rule book, which we're going to take a look at. It tells you the, a little bit of story, very little. The expansion icon down here, you'll see it's on all the pieces if you want to know what goes in it. A little bit of expansion overview. Components list, but no picture. So if you get things mixed up, good luck. Kind of how to use it, the new little tower thing that will be in it. Some free way ask questions and additional rules. Really, it's just elixir in the improvements. The back is just the credits. So not a lot of new stuff, as you can see. Although I do like the new puzzle quite a bit. You're going to get 17 new tiles. So let's put the rest of this stuff aside. We'll go through some of these tiles. So you're going to get a street corner. And the research library. These will all be long ones. You're going to have a few big ones, but most of these are going to be the long ones. You're going to get a chapel here. And the sewer part two, you're going to get exhibit one, which is a really cool bear. I like this title quite a bit. And with the alley on the other side, you're going to get the bedroom with the yard number two on this side. Sewer one. On this side, the library archives. The magic shop and the shop office. They come through this door to get over there. And then just the office that you'll have there. You're going to get classroom number two. Big line going down through the center. And the warehouse, which you get on this side. You're going to get the curiosity shop. Very busy. And these stairs. These stairs are really cool. Like, and the 3D effect is just really great on that. You're going to get uh, classroom number three. See where the students and pupils will be. And then the lounge on this side. You're going to get the printing press. And exhibit number two. Something right there for you to look at. We're going to get speak easy. We're going to make some alcohol. And portrait hall. Pretty bland. And it's going to be the bigger squares. And the general shop. Which we make up of all these different rooms. You're going to have the shop storage down here. You're going to have the studio storage. And then the studio right through here where people do painting and artwork and whatnot. This one's pretty cool. This is going to be the main exhibit. So you can see like a dinosaur bone or some kind of monster bone right there. Pretty cool. And then yard number one, which will take up four spots. Here we're going to have classroom number one. Lots of places for the pupils to be. A lot of cool things to find in there. And a library. It's going to be made up of a bunch of little rooms. And you're going to see some different bookshelves and stuff going on there. And then we're going to have the lobby. On this side, we'll have Exhibit 3, which will make up for four different little spaces on there. Very messy. You have the lab, where you can only guess if some science experiments were happening there. And here is the bandstand. You can just imagine the band being out there in the gazebo. You have one giant one, so this is going to be the biggest one you're going to have. This is going to be the Exhibit Entrance. You can see some kind of dinosaur or monster bone sets. And you're going to have the diner, which is a very big room. Very cool. I like adding that in. So, you're also going to get a number of tokens that you're going to have in here for the monsters, some more people, some more fires and rooms, and just general tokens that you'll be adding in. You're going to get some more cards that will be in here. Let's take a look at some of these. I don't want to spoil anything too much, but you can see there's a whole bunch. There's a Righteous and the Elixirs. So, at the start of your turn, you may improve one skill of your choice. If you do, you get to flip this card over. I'm not going to show you what they do, but you're going to get a number of these and some more of these. Uh, hurt and damage cards that you can get. So you're going to get a number of these that will be added to the game. And just for spoiler reasons, I don't want to go through these, but there is quite a bit that you'll be adding in. Now you're going to get four investigators. I'll show you what the miniatures look like. You're going to get Tommy Muldoon, who's a rookie cop. You are going to get Maria Lambeau. At the start of your turn, you may cast a spell without spinning an action. It'll be pretty useful to get some extra hits in. Finn Edwards, once per round, you may move one space before or after performing. I like anybody in this game that lets you move around. Diana Stanley, you would suffer two or more horror, you suffer one. She can soak up a lot of damage. And his is you begin the game with the Becky unique item. So he gives you a unique item. You can see the different little things right here. They all have different stats on the side. So let's take a look at some of these miniatures. Now mine are all going to be painted. Yours are going to come gray. I had mine sent off, but uh, these are all painted. Whether you like the paint job or not, you can kind of see what they are. But this is a very big one. Probably the biggest, most impressive one that you're going to see. 
in the set. You're going to get two of these. I'm just going to show you one if there's doubles of anything. Uh, this thing can have a lot of tentacles coming out of it. Let's see if I can get that zoomed in. There you go. So you can see a lot of tentacles coming out. You're going to get two of these very big ones. There's its mouth coming out with all these little tentacles. Very cool looking one. Gonna get a number of bases and some advertisements. Let's go ahead and pull the rest of these miniatures out so you guys can take a look at them. So there's seven total miniatures for the monsters and four of the investigators. So you're gonna get two of these little skeleton zombie like guys. I believe they're called skeletons. Now, once again, yours will come gray. Mine are all painted up. These aren't the best quality miniatures, they're not very detailed. But they're okay. I like this one a lot. This is like the mobster guy that you're going to get. You get two of these. He's very cool looking. I think anything with guns and his trench coat look with the fedora. I just happen to like that. You know, your mileage may vary if you like it or not. And his pegs go right in. So you're going to get two of each of those. That's going to make up your seven monsters. Let me show you the investigators that you're going to get. This guy's got his boomstick. For any fans of Evil Dead. That's my joke, but he looks really good. Now, this guy's going to be running with this spyglass or bottle or whatever he's running with. So, he's pretty cool looking. He's got some rope with him. And you have two female characters that will be added. Here's your singer. And she's going to have that really cool candle with that knife coming out. Very cool asset. Okay, so let's talk about this set, what you're going to get. This is a pretty good set now. I like this. Is it worth the money? Eh, Fantasy Flight is always going to have very expensive expansions. You're not going to get a whole lot in the box. You're getting seven monsters, four people. You're getting a, you know, a little stack of cards and some tokens. What you're really getting here is the additional content so that you can get the extra little things inside of the app. The scenarios and stories you can go through. I think the stories and the scenarios are excellent to add this in. You also have the randomization. You can go back and play the ones from the base game. Some of these tiles will be played in. That's very, very good. You're going to want this for variety. You're going to want the extra investigators. You're going to want the extra cool monsters that are going to come in. You're going to want the new scenarios that come in. You're going to have to kind of get this. Now, this could have been a lot smaller. This box has a tremendous amount of air in it. It doesn't need to be this big. Yet it is. They need to make their money with box size, I guess. But if you're going to be in the Mansions of Madness, and you're, going to, you're going to play this game, you're going to need to add in Streets of Arkham. It's a very good addition. I don't know. I think you get more with other expansions, just in games in general. If you're a fantasy flight, kind of know what you're getting into. But I think this is something that you're definitely going to want to add in if you're going to play Mansions of Madness. Highly, highly recommend. Excellent addition. Now, some of the things, I don't think that it added in enough extras, if you will. You know, it's more variety. Some of this complexity here, this new puzzle is really cool. I like this one a lot. The elixirs are fine. The improvements are pretty neat. You're going to be adding these into the game. The, um, you can get these improvements that will be able to help you long term. Really neat stuff in here. Is there enough? Eh. I think the expansion might be a 5. But if you're going to play this series, you know this goes up to an 8 or a 9. Because you're really going to need to add this stuff in to have that variety. Otherwise, you're just going to hit a brick wall when it comes to this. They've designed this that you're going to be adding more and more stuff in. It's going to be required in order to do that. Now, you can go back and play the original stuff all you want. But you're not going to be able to get additional scenarios unless you pick up something like this. So for me... It doesn't bother me. I know it will bother some people, but it doesn't bother me. I liked it quite a bit. I would recommend adding Streets of Arkham Man right away after you play through the base game. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you liked it, please like it and hit that little subscribe button. That really helps out the channel lets us know that you're getting the videos that you want. If you agreed or disagree with what I said, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say, and I promise that I will comment back. Thanks for watching, and everybody else, keep playing.